Hey everybody, today your auto runs through Top Shelf Gamer, which is an online retail website with a very unique product. What these folks do is they basically collect board game bits and accessories and enhancements from all different sorts of places and combine them into game themed packages that you can order from them direct. And I'm going to show you three of the games that they cover today, kind of before and after, so you can see what kind of impact their product has. So, Okay, so first up we've got Concordia where we have a player here who's doing pretty well. He's got a little bit of all the different types of resources and he's probably pretty happy about that. Gives him a lot of choices. But what if he were this player? As you can see, the exact same resources but a much cooler, more atmospheric uh, layout. Let's compare once again the wine and cloth and food and salt, tools and clay with the wine, cloth, food, salt, tools, and clay. Very, very cool. Let's move on. So let's talk about a game like Dungeon Pets, which is already so well known for having such really high quality components. Of course, the pets themselves are awesome. You know, these cool little egg-shaped things and they grow over time and have more and more needs. But, you know, in the development of this game, they didn't, um, you know, they splurged. You know, all the nice little wooden tokens to represent the gold and uh, the meat you can feed your pets and the veg. But your worker placement are these awesome little uh, very detailed imp minis. And heck, even your score marker gets little stickers. And if you know the game, when you're actually trying to grow them over here in your pens, yeah, you might have some old crusty poo cubes lying around that need to be cleaned up. And oh, look at um, this little fish with some poo in his bowl and even some sadness. So like I said, Dungeon Pets is already fairly well known for very, very high quality components and presentation. But how about we upgrade the game with some new pieces instead of just little uh, yellow discs? How about some real, well, I was going to say real gold. These are not actually real gold bars, but they feel like it. I mean, these are very, very heavy weighty things. They're really satisfying to collect a whole bunch of these and then uh, send them. And for food, why go for little, uh, you know, pieces of wood when you can have delicious steaks? Wouldn't your pet rather feed on some of these steaks or some nice corn on the cob for their vegetable needs? And, um, and then poor, this little guy who's still left over here, now the poo really stands out. You definitely want to get this stuff cleaned up. And, oh well, has despair ever been more strongly felt? So, you can get a, even a game like Dungeon Pets, which again is really well known for high quality components, you can get quite the upgrade as well. So let's take a look at one more game, another one of my favorites, Orléans. And you know, here we are with a regular setup. And I have to admit, I mean, I've got my original first edition DLP version here, and I think it looks nice. I so much so that I've never really bothered to chase after the deluxe Tasty Minstrel Games reprint, where these little cardboard chips were replaced with wooden tokens that had stickers on them. I mean, I've seen pictures of it. It looks really, really cool. But like I said, I've always just been happy with my regular edition. But that was before you add the top shelf gamer components. I mean, look at this. Uh, you know, the board just pops now. It just jumps out at you and it almost changes the way you want to play the game. I, I, now, I want to get out of Orléans and travel all the countryside because I can see these things. They're real. They're tangible. Somehow, it makes the whole simulation feel more grounded and alive. It's very, very impressive. And of course, you got all the other ones just uh, stockpiled over there waiting to be grabbed. And um, yeah, I, I, it's, I, I was gobsmacked the first time I set this up. And you know, I've played a fair bit of Orléans, but um, you know, playing with all this stuff really, really enhanced the overall experience. But it's not just game upgrade pieces they've got. Actually, they've recently entered into a partnership with somebody near and dear to my heart, Jennifer Ham of Jennifer Ham Glass. And they are now carrying her line of meeple jewelry. You can see there are these cool little earrings and these uh, meeple necklaces, which are very nice and lovely, 100% glass, and also these cute little meeple with big hearts as well. Uh, and you can get them in necklace form. And Jen's absolute favorite of all time, the Witwat, 
which in case you're wondering what that means, that's an acronym for what in the world are those? Any individual one of these guys is a wit wit. What in the world is that? And uh, Jen is just making these things all the time. She absolutely loves them. You can use them in just about any game you like, or they're just nice to have on your desk or on your shelf. And now Top Shelf Gamer has these in stock. Not these specific ones. These are ones still at our place, but Jen has sent off a big shipment to them. So you can check out what they've got. And that's it, folks. That is Top Shelf Gamer. And actually, hold on, folks. Just before we go, I've got one more Top Shelf upgrade pack to show you. This one for Gloomhaven. So far, my favorite game of the year by far. And to show it, I'll do another before and after. I've just thrown together a little randomly generated dungeon using the system. I'm going to be going through the mangy hovel, these little rooms that then leads to the rotting hallway, and finally we find ourselves at the hopeless altar. Now this first room, the mangy hovel, is set up like normal with the regular cardboard coins lying around to represent treasure I could get, an actual treasure chest here, and here's a door, and you know these are all two-sided where the door is closed, and then it's open that lets us go into the next room. So, you know, that's all well and good. I have played dozens of games of Gloomhaven using these standard pieces. But when you put in the upgrade, oh, it gets so much cooler. Now you've got real metal coins that look absolutely awesome. They do come in the silver and the gold, um, in case you need these for whatever reason. I just use these to keep track of, um, what do you call them, elites versus regulars. And no more treasure chest flat uh, token. It's a real little treasure chest, a neat little 3D thing. Uh, makes them more exciting to chase after and pick up. And most importantly, a real functioning door. You don't flip a tile to open this door. You literally open it up. And you can see it opens up here. Uh, actually, fairly neatly designed. They snap shut, and when you open them, they've got that little um, pip right there to keep them opened and locked in, whether you open them or close them. They fit on the spaces just fine, and we have played now several different locations. There's actually two. There's a round top and a square top door, so you can have a little bit of variety in the doors you're placing. Um, but the nice thing is, the uh, flat surface is big enough that once it's opened and you can go in, the characters can still occupy the space where the door is, like they should. Uh, you know, either the bad guys or the good guys. Hello, I'm standing in this doorway, etc., etc., which is really, really cool too, and brings the adventures just a little bit more to life to see those doors open. If you're in a dungeon where there's a whole bunch of doors and you know they're all closed right at the get-go, that can be pretty neat. And of course, metal coins and neat little treasure chests are delightful as well. That's it, folks. That is Top Shelf Gamer. Um, and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you have a very, very nice day. Talk to you later. So long. Bye-bye.